Let me first state that yes, businesses should be able to have dress codes. I believe that when they make them too strict, however, particularly on things that affect people outside their jobs, they weed out a lot of potentially good employees. Dress codes for most types of businesses have loosened up quite a bit over the years. Security officers can have facial hair. Employees at department stores can have brightly colored mohawks. Facial piercings are more common than ever. Unnatural hair colors in general are starting to become more normalized to the point where you even see them in some office jobs. Times have changed quite a bit, but there are unfortunately a number of people out there who are claiming that all of this is terrible. It's so terrible that society and businesses have, have accepted things that were usually, that used to be considered radical hairstyles and makeup. The people who think that way are usually conservative. Many conservatives seem to imply that it's really important for people to present themselves as traditionally business-minded, or more accurately, Caucasian traditionally business-minded. I mean, let us not forget what used to happen when you did a Google image search for unprofessional hairstyles. It used to show almost every result was black women. Now it's just filled with, with images of articles describing how that used to happen. And some people were trying to say that it's, uh, oh, it's racism on Google's part as to how that happened. It's just, no, it's not racism on Google's part. It's racism on the people who put out the articles that those images were captured from. It's the people stating that those things are unprofessional hairstyles. That's why they, they showed up that way. It's not Google's fault. It's how narrow-minded people used to be about hairstyles. And it's the notion that uh, in order to look professional, you have to have a straight hairstyle. You know, and it has to fall the way that Caucasian hair falls. You know, so what looks professional to one person might seem overkill or even oppressive to another. Having said that, there are some conservatives out there who make huge judgment calls about people's worth based on their appearances. And some feel that unless someone works hard to look more traditional, they shouldn't be taken seriously. Sometimes to the point where they think that those people don't deserve any sort of livelihood. It's like, poor me, I can't say that this group of people over there are inferior or they're degenerates without losing my job. But I think that guy over there with the, with the green hair and the eyebrow piercing, he shouldn't have a job until he learns how to grow up. He needs to change his childish ways before he deserves a job. These people like to preach about the values of merit, but then throw it all away just because of someone's appearance, someone's fashion sense. It's all about keeping up appearances, right? Unless, of course, the person in question is an outspoken conservative, and then they can have any appearance they want. And then conservatives will continually put that person up on a pedestal every time a liberal tries to say that conservatives are prudes.